Yeah, hello everyone, this is Dao here with a uh, video response um, to Bur Picks and Savages Burr Essentials video and um, top, top 10 PS2 games where he gave his top 10 PS2 games of course and uh, basically I found it through Steph's video and watched it so these are going to be my top 10 PS2 games um, some people would probably be like what this is kind of a crappy list perhaps, but it's my list. Everyone has their own list. There's games on other people's list that either A, I probably played and very much enjoyed but just didn't make the cut, or B, I just didn't really play enough of it to sort of, like, I didn't really play it, like, complete it though. And basically all these games on the list I've completed bar one because I just really do love the game though. I just enjoy playing it game again even though I never really fully completed it but it was very close but let's get going number 10 is Time Splitters 2 um, just a very enjoyable first person shooter though um, it's probably one of those games that actually did really got me into first person shooters so it was I absolutely just loved the um, the various challenges you could do like all these like challenges you did and uh, like the multiplayer was just sort of loads of fun though even playing by yourself in my opinion uh, was a lot of fun when you just had loads of bots around and doing the, all these crazy ass modes there was in the game like virus and things like that there was just a whole lot of fun though to play and I just really enjoyed playing the game though and I I hate the first one so I did I just don't know why but I just hate the first one I have the third one as well but it's not as good in my opinion. Number nine is Jack Two Renegade. Um, this is my favorite of the Jack um, series, so it is. Um, a lot of people like the first one better. The first one is a good game, and I like the third one as well. Um, Jack X, Pied people would be like, that should really be included. Um, I played the game, and I thought it's a, I think it's a good enough game. I'm not brilliant though but I just really enjoy playing this though and doing the various missions so and sure Haven City was a bit of a chore going around sometimes but it was just fun just to go around and see what the next mission would be like though there were some very enjoyable missions in this game though um, I just that one probably the one you have to cross the like cross the like huge like this obstacle course to get to the Barnes like tower pretty much um, like the fortress, that was my favourite one, I just love that. But there's a lot of great missions, great cutscenes, great characters. Number 8, Medal of Honor Frontline. I, this is the one I've never finished though, but I absolutely love the game though. It's just um, a really great game though, um, really enjoyable to play. And it's probably one of the only games in the series that I really have enjoyed playing though and I said Time Splitters 2 is one of those games this pie was a game, this pie was the game though because yes it was because it was this is pie was the game here that I could say that got me into first person shooters Time Splitters 2 sort of put, drove me further but that I could safely say this is probably the game that got me, safely got me into first person shooters so um, because I just love playing it. I love doing D-Day mission at the start. It was just very enjoyable missions in the game though. Um, just a really enjoyable game though. I just, none of the ones I've played since then have been that um, stellar in my opinion compared to it. Devil May Cry, the first one and in my opinion the best one. Um, great action game just sort of kick ass action with great music and um, great boss battles in it though it was just a lot of cool battles in the game though um, I just sort of like the last battle in the game I think is pretty sort of kind of cool though it's not like the best one and like one's facing against um, Neo Angelo um, or if you spoiler Virgil um, pretty great awesome game so it is I just really enjoyed playing this game though the other ones are good for what they are but I just it's the only one I've ever finished though but I really love the game nonetheless 
Number six is Ratchet and Clank 3. Um, but it's sort of like the Ratchet and Clank series all together though, but 3 would probably be my favourite one though. Um, but all the games are great though. Like Ratchet and Clank series is one of my, is like my favourite sort of game. One of my, my favourite game series for, for the past several years. And this was just a lot of fun. Great, of course, the great weapons as any Ratchet Clank game has, and has Pi that maybe one of the best. And this Doctor Nefarious, I love him, and I'm just glad he's back in the um, Crack and Time though, which is pretty cool. And um, it's just great gameplay though, just great mixture of shooting, action, and platforming. Um, and I can't wait, as I say, I can't wait for Crack and Time. Number five. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Um, I really have this really pie for nostalgia perhaps though because the thing is I've only ever played through this game once but I really did enjoy playing through it though nonetheless so I love exploring the countryside more than anything though and doing the various things you could do around it like go up the mountains and parachute over like drive a bike over or something and then parachute or whatever and like do the like millions of things you could do outside the main mission so like you could eat, get fat, you could like do weights, you could do various other activities, play basketball, ride a bike, just anything there was to do, it was just really a lot of fun though. And it was like a long game because it was state wide this time and it's my favourite of the Grand Theft Auto series. I don't care what people say about four. Four in my opinion is overrated. Number four is WD SmackDown Here Comes the Pain. Um I really like my I like wrestling games. So the and this to me is probably the best one of the best ones. Alongside No Mercy for the N sixty four. Um I really lo I love this game though. It's just it's my opinion it's the best one. It hasn't been topped since and that's six years ago nearly died since it's been released. And um, it's just it had a great grappling system though, which was it was just improved from the grappling system. This is the one that sort of had a big enhancement to it and it made the game just that much sweeter to play. The roster in my opinion in, the, in this one was really good though and um, just the season mode and the graphics were like quite improved as well. It just really looked good. It was just a really stunning looking PS2 game back in the um, time as well. Just really that was a brilliant looking game. I just have to get going now because I'm trying to make the cut. Kingdom Hearts 2 is my number 3. Um, the main reason why this one is in it and not the first one is because I just devoted my time to this one though. I spent like 66 plus hours doing everything there was to do in this game. Every single thing. Bar the gummy ship though but got to do everything there was to do in order to get the secret ending in normal mode because I know you can get it through proud mode by just completing the game but I did everything, all the little side missions, all the like, getting all the synthesis shards and things like that down, filling all the requirements of Jimmy's journal and it's just, a, it's just a great experience going through the Disney worlds and meeting the famous Disney characters and it just had, it's just a really great experience so just a magical experience to go through and that's Probably, that's one of the main reasons, if not the main reason, why it's on the list. Number two is God of War 2. Basically, you could say God of War series though, because the game is the series is awesome. Um, loved the first game when it came out though. The second one I think is probably better. Um, just has great boss battles, great action, just great set pieces though. And the third one, I hope, is going to be just tops it all, though. It just gets bigger and better, though. Um, just Kratos is just this badass um, Spartan, though. Just way he kills um, the various enemies in the game, though. Like the Legionnaires and, and like the Satyrs and the, like the Centaurs and all. Like the way they kill the boss is just fucking awesome, though. I love the game. 
but it did it did quite make the number one list because it was there till two years ago, like the God of War game. But this game um, topped it, and it was my 2007 game, and that is Okami. What can I say about this game? I absolutely love the game. It's just a beautiful game. One of the most visually stunning games I ever played. I've the privilege to play though. Love the celestial brush. I loved playing through the game. Every single moment of it. It was just a glorious adventure to play through. Another reason why I liked it so much more because it reminded me of the set. It was like Zelda, even though it had its own parts of it as well. But I absolutely love the game, the beautiful graphics, the great gameplay. It's awesome. So there you go, guys. That is my top ten, and thanks for watching.